Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to talk about why I absolutely love the Taurus G3C 9mm and why I love Forge Tech holsters. And I think it's going to be fun doing this video. So I hope you guys have fun hanging out and you enjoy the video as well. So as you guys know, I've been really into these Taurus pistols on this channel. And I've also showed you quite a few really nice and cool Forge Tech holsters that I own. But I just wanted to kind of talk about briefly why. Well, why do I love the Taurus G3C? Well, I actually like almost everything about it. And I'll tell you what, I don't love this because Taurus sponsors me because they actually don't. And I've actually tried to reach out to them before just to get technical information and they have no idea who I am and never even responded. So everything I talk about with these pistols and these holsters is absolutely genuine. And I'm just a fan of these things just like you guys. And I'm just a regular guy. And I buy these with my own money and from help from all of you. So if you want to help out the channel, check out the links down in the description. And I really appreciate everyone who helps financially support this channel so I can bring this stuff to you to talk about. All right, so the G3C. I'm going to ask you guys a question at the end of this video about the G3C and the G2C. So hold on, watch till the end, and I'm going to ask you guys for a little input. First of all, as soon as I grabbed this firearm, out of the box, it fits my hand like a glove. And that's one of the number one reasons why I really like this pistol. It literally, like if I had a lot of money and could pay somebody to custom mold... A firearm for me that just fit my hands perfectly and felt natural to shoot it would beat this pistol several reasons why polymer frame it's just the way they thought of all the little details right the grip is rather thin especially since it holds 12 rounds which is generous for the size but they actually took and narrowed out the frame just a little bit right up in the grip area Underneath the beaver tail portion, where it actually kind of makes your hand just squeeze right in. My grip's nice and high, but not too high. There's no chance of any type of slide bite whatsoever. It has these nice dimples in the side, like this troughed out area with the ledge that allows my thumb to rest just perfectly here. And then my forefinger, when it's in the ready position... It just sits right there. So it's just the little things like this that truly matter. Contoured in just the right area. This pistol is very slim and feels super comfortable. I can very easily reach the trigger. I can very easily reach the mag release. I can very easily reach up and press up on the slide catch. And I have no problems manipulating this pistol whatsoever. One-handed, two-handed. Which is one of the main reasons what makes it so comfortable to shoot. Now the grip texture area. These grips are actually just perfect. It's kind of a sandpaper type section there along the back strap. Along the forward portion of the grip frame. Also on the sides. And what I like about this is they didn't just stipple or put the texture on the whole thing. Because up here in the web of my hand. I'd actually rather it be smooth, so as the pistol moves slightly when shooting, it does not wear this web portion raw, which I have had on some guns that are overly textured. Nope, it's just right there where I need it, because most of my grip is going to be here with these fingers, along the back strap, and then coming in putting forward pressure with a thumbs forward type grip that I like to use. So... The ergonomics of it are great, the shape of it, the grip texture. Also, if you notice, with this 12-round mag, instead of making it completely flush fit, which would have allowed my pinky to hang over there a little bit, you guys can see that, they integrated on the floor plate just a nice little pinky extension, and it's just perfect. Not a bit too long, not a bit too short. I also like the fact that they slightly made little indentations, so if I had a malfunction, I could easily grip and rip the magazine out. The finish on the slide is a Cerakote type finish. I've actually fired this gun quite a bit and it's still in great shape. So the cosmetic durability has been awesome on this handgun. The front serrations are nice. 
The rear serrations are just perfect. It also has a Picatinny rail, so if you want to attach a light, laser, anything like that, great. The trigger guard's not too big, but plenty big enough for me to get my finger right in there. Now the trigger. The trigger is actually quite nice on this pistol. It features a very broad blade type safety here. You can see that. And when it's depressed, it fits basically perfectly flush with the shoe of the trigger. So it doesn't cause any type of uncomfortable feeling in the pad of my trigger finger. It doesn't dig in anything like that. So that's really good. The trigger pull is quite nice. With this having the restrike capability, we're going to first fire it in a single action. I'm going to depress the blade. It's going to go flush with the shoe. There's some travel, which is just fine with me. And it breaks rather crisp. I mean, it's not a 1911 trigger, but keep in mind, for what this is, a little compact budget pistol, the trigger's very nice. Now, if for some reason the round didn't go off, this is another awesome feature that this has. Striker fire pistol, but it has what's called a restrike or a double action. So now that I pull the trigger once, I'm going to depress the blade safety. It's a longer, heavier pull, but it's plenty adequate. So the trigger is one of the main things I like on this handgun. Let's check the reset on it. The reset comes out to right there. Very short, crisp reset. Nice, short, rather crisp follow up shot. It even has a little nub that sticks out on the back of the trigger shoe and that serves as your over travel stop so that's really nice also the takedown is very easy this is glock style if you will if you guys need a video showing how to field strip these clean them lubricate them please let me know down in the comments if that's something that would help you guys definitely let me know there's lots of aftermarket parts available for these. That's another awesome thing. If you just like to trick out your gun, customize it, make it your own per se, or anything, you know, if, if you think you feel you need an upgrade for this, readily available by several good manufacturers. Everything's bone stock on this particular handgun. Haven't had any problems with it. I'm pretty happy with the way it's running right now. Here's the other awesome thing about this. Not only does it shoot like a dream, it handles recoil very well. It has a quite robust dual captive recoil spring and guide rod assembly there. Feels really good. Controllable to shoot, easy follow up, target acquisition, whatever fancy words you guys want to use for it. Let's just say it's very easy to control. Quite a pleasure to shoot. Here's what's really nice about these. They have a lifetime warranty. And this is a budget pistol. Now, in today's day and age, everything's kind of jacked up in price, and it sucks. But still, compared to many of the handguns out there, this is one of your cheaper options. And it comes with three magazines, 12-round mags, which I found these OEM Taurus mags to be awesome. They have a very powerful spring. I've had the best of luck and literally, like, no problems with any of my 12-round OEM mags that are used obviously in the G2C, G3C. So three mags, very affordable price. And that's probably one of the main things that I like about this handgun. Not only does it seem quality, everything about it is perfectly ergonomic, comfortable, etc. But the price, because here's the thing, the Second Amendment, okay? It wasn't given to us by the government. It was endowed by our creator. And that includes every person. And it seems that the government and the law always affects, you know, poor people. People who can't get past certain hurdles. This handgun has made owning a gun available to so many first-time gun owners or even long-time shooters that just wanted to buy a pistol. Just couldn't afford it for so many different reasons. And I think that's really important because the lives of poor people or working class people are just as valuable as the rich. And the fact that they've been able to package these in the G2C and many of their other pistols in that budget price range really, really helps out a lot of people where the single mother can afford to protect herself or the construction worker that's just going through working, you know, just trying to make ends meet. You know, all of us have so many bills. This is a blue collar person's gun. And it's just so awesome that so many people can exercise their Second Amendment rights. And also can protect themselves and their family from harm or 
unfortunately death in some cases so more people that are armed the better the only thing that can stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun and many people have started buying these type firearms even in recent times because they've realized hey when seconds matter cops are only minutes away and they often come to take a report of things that have already happened unfortunately and in many cases as we've seen for the last year a lot of police are ordered to not even respond when cities are burning and there's imminent danger so people are realizing they need to exercise their second amendment rights their god-given rights and this pistols made that an option for so many people so that's probably the thing that i like about it the most even though of all the firearms i've handled in the past or i have owned or do own i'm not lying guys it's one of the most comfortable in pretty much every aspect so that's awesome now forge tech holsters this is something else that i'm all about first of all made in the usa locally here in michigan and when i say made in the usa i don't just mean like assembled with foreign and domestic products like you see so often when he says made in the usa everything is the kydex itself the clips the fasteners which are very nice black oxide finish fasteners we can see there tension adjustable here this is made by a small business every single last component pieces of rubber everything you can think of literally made in the usa so you're helping support domestic businesses helping support small business local business i think that's totally awesome now speaking of budget these are also budget holsters i'm not sure how he keeps the price as low as he does but not trying to jinx it guys we're hoping it'll keep his prices the best he can although prices are going up for every business everywhere and it's really tough right now to run a business trust me guys i know but the quality of these the retention is absolutely great this is not a retention you know duty type but it's still look it holds great retention i don't feel any chance of it falling out even if it were to go upside down i'm carrying it the opposite that i should right here obviously the inside of the kydex is very smooth we can see the camera picking up that sheen he takes the time to smooth all of his edges all of the edges are super smooth there's no burrs there's no rough spots the mouth the edges are chamfered and it just literally fits in here like a glove slides right in there just a little touch right in so really really like these products definitely check out my taurus playlist if you're new to the channel and you can see plenty more of these forge tech holsters lots of videos on the tauruses which you guys know that i love doing here's the owb for the g3c which is also an excellent quality product made here in michigan all american parts this has the dot combat loop which is fully adjustable for different widths of belts this is awesome it clips in place and there's even a little slider here where you can lock it so where you're not going to be able to release it and we can just slide it back push the button and take it right off your belt with ease without having to take the belt off i love carrying these owbs the iwb also very comfortable so i'm going to leave a link to forge tech holsters down in the description I get no commission off the sales, but it's a company that I like to support because they're quality, budget, made here in Michigan products, and I really like to get behind supporting local businesses. And like I said, these holsters are cheap, but I couldn't really see anything better, to be honest with you, even if it costs twice as much. Look at that. I really like how he puts this little dimple here because it gives me a perfect spot for my finger. Check that out. So when I draw... It's right there where I want it to be. Right on that little memory pad that they put in there, which is another nice little feature of the G3C. All right, guys, you waited till the end. Here's my question. Taurus G2C and another Forge Tech OWB holster. He makes OWB, IWB for many of the popular handguns out on the market today. This is the Taurus that started it all for the channel. This is my little girl right here, and I, I love this pistol a lot. Would you guys like to see a side-by-side -side, uh, Taurus G2C versus? I hate to say versus like a competition because I love them both, but I'll be honest with you guys. There's one that I am kind of liking a little bit better than the other one. Love them both, though, so let me know. I've owned this G3C for a while. I've fired enough rounds downrange, carried it enough, 
where I think I've come up with my opinion. There's certainly some differences on these. There's some things that are very similar to. There's some parts that interchange. There's some that don't. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a comparison, contrast, my opinion on which one I like better, whatever. I always read all the comments and I appreciate all of you guys. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like to and share the channel with your friends. All of you, just by watching, sharing, leaving the comments, you're all supporting the channel and we're able to get this information out to as many people as possible and I get to meet more and more cool people to hang out with on here every day. All right, thanks for watching and have a good one.